Okay. Table feels very high for some reason. Anyways, uh, uh, da, 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 right. Okay. So, uh, last time I said that I would do a little bit of collecting off screen, and uh, I have more or less made good on my promise. The fleet now <laughs> is made up of eight shield beetles. Uh, and in return, a lot of smaller ships we lost were were lost. Sorry. Um, the uh, what was I gonna say? I, right. So uh, all the ships have now been essentially adjusted to have 800 fuel as per normal. Uh, we lost, I believe, two of our light carriers. Yeah, we lost. Uh, we lost the Hermes and the the other one, uh, as well as our both of our fleet support tenders, which is not pleasant, but hey, that's kind of how it goes. So, uh, we will now begin the journey back into free space after chilling up here for probably like a month or so. I think everybody believes that we're now dead. And I would, I, I would not begrudge them for that belief. We're not going to be carrying any cargo because it's not, it doesn't feel right. But yeah, comparatively speaking, our fleet is like pound for pound much stronger. than it has any right to be. Although it's worth noting that um, with the inclusion of the, ion, uh, of the ion cannons, we are now less likely to capture ships by virtue of those cannons also dealing flat damage. Yeah, not having the fleet tenders means that other ships have to work double time. See what I mean? Hmm. Well, that's fine. Worst comes to worst, we'll... We'll do the dishonorable thing and actually spend our money. Crumbling poison. Has crumbled. Barrel. Slaughter chamber. Is not dead. Wow. Aren't you lucky? Mine. Should have bought more crew while we had time. Yeah, that barrel's a missile boat. <laughs> Shoot it. Hey, we are chased. We got chased. Uh oh, that's not good. Stop shooting at me! Let's kill all these little drones, even though they're just more annoying than anything else. Oh, it looks like we killed Barrel. Cool. Man, two spaces out, and there's a lot of ships here. I want to cap it, but we don't have the crew to keep ourselves moving after we cap it. So instead, I will simply take your hyperdrive and leave you to die out here. We have no fuel, essentially. Alright then, um... 
I would jump out by myself. Land and then return with some tenders if that's if that's all possible. Uh oh dear. The check cargo light for your ship begins blinking when you land. So I guess I had my hood up for the entire journey. Meaning that a cargo crate may have come loose in flight. Makes sense, we've been shot at a lot. Shot out the ship's engines and walked out the cargo hold. Uh, hear a voice from the crate, but it's not a language you understand. As the high language. And they're met face to face with a high child. Oh dear. Pick it up. <laughs> Waves his hand around when you try to pick it up. Yeah, that was probably not the best idea. Getting impossible to grab onto. Alright, so it's, uh... I would have to go back and send this child out, but um, we're kind of busy, so let's not do that. <laughs> Anyways, we need some more fleet tenders, because uh, our fleet tenders died. Okay, so they have anti-missile turrets, they don't have any weapons, I don't have any... Uh, uh, I don't have any ramjets, sadly. So we we can we're just gonna have to do with standard fuel pods. All right, let's go back. Oh, thank you, Syndicate ships, for helping us out. Bits of mist poison. Whoa, face. Oh, dead. Sharon sausage. Okay. Hangman's news. Painful conquest. Death hammer. Dead. Actually, I can go around a. Sp I can go around spreading out fuel as well. Come to think of it, I should probably do that. If you have ships that do not have the fuel to make their next jump, and then there are no capture targets for you to take. You can just hit B in order to uh, do the job. Or shift B, I think, yeah. Balthazar, the trickster, should have picked up more crew. Forgot to do that. Okay, I'm essentially out of gas now. No, this is kind of the. This is simultaneously both the journey and the fun of, of essentially going very far out, uh, far out of field, which is that you kind of do need a fleet with a dedicated support structure, which is nice. Like, it kind, it, it kind of is, you know, unfortunate that we have such a huge space and not much empty space to play with. But hey. All right, we're back. Let's land and pick up some more crew. Yes, reload. Oh, the wasps are very likely not gonna do well, but that's okay. Their job in their job in life is to die, and we will escort some guys to sun dive just to have something to do. So the plan, of course, is to go to Sundive, essentially go along this line down to Terrazid, where we're basically like two months behind our original schedule. Okay, 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 Jesus. Vampire, warm boil. Where am I at? Nine. Okay. I think at rating nine is when you're allowed to start doing some weird shenanigans. Is everyone here? 
Good. All right, that's a nice little chunk of change. If you're playing normally, like this is escort missions are a good way to, uh, you know, make some extra money when you're going from A to B. Hello, revenge, wounded damnation. It's dead. Revenge, wrath of Medusa, dagger of death. Uh, I don't know who that was, but he's dead. Judas lies, dead. I mean, did he lie though? <laughs> like for all intents, and, for all intents and purposes, Judas was a uh, upstanding Roman citizen who very much so believed in the strength of the state. I suppose. I don't know my Abrahamic religion all that well. Okay. So this was the last stop, which means that we now need to rush to Cerebri. Yeah. Are you guys the only ones who are slowing us down here? Yes. Well, given that the wasps are kind of irrelevant, we can just ignore them. Well, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. My biggest worry is, um, well, we'll see what happens, but my, my biggest worry is being caught by a, um, by a Federation fleet. Like, granted, we can kind of, you know, eat them alive at this point, but... Unnecessary engagements are uh, not really what I'm all about here. Nanshan, okay. Support me. Cool. Yep. I have a hundred percent chance of capturing it, but I would not have a crew after I do that. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Greed. There we go. Oh, of course, we have we have some better. Better, uh, better guns than before, so. It may be in my best interest to go back into deep space first just to recover before heading out into uh, Tarazet again. Hey, one of the ships just got, uh, Nanshan just got screwed. Cool. Well, it's still alive, so that's, that's kind of all that matters. question yeah wow they actually do get that's kind of that's really cool to be honest uh land oh sweet i forgot i legitimately forgot he was on board so what i was gonna say is that uh it is really nice that uh, ships outside your con outside your current location will still do things. Like, uh, I'm gonna keep a motif here. Like uh, repair each other, you know. That's really cool. I feel like I should have expected it, but still. Oh Christ, we out. Did I pick up more crew? I think I did. I hope I did. Bye bye. Okay. Saturday, June 6th, July 6th, actually.
Hey, thank you for restocking my own ships. Wayfarer, okay. Thank you, Alondo. Let's let's land. All right. We are led to the Terrazet boarding room, which is different from the Syndicate one in two respects. First, it is much less fancy, and second, there are women present. Wow. Ah. Uh, okay. Many of us are sympathetic to your cause. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, we're like two months late, by the way. Yeah, they don't like dealing with a syndicate, but they could not build ships without the system they manufacture. Which means that Terrazid is actually in like a really, really weak location. Simply by virtue of how many systems the syndicate would have to travel to get to this position. Poison wood, okay. Uh, since we're here and we can now we can now buy these things, let's buy these things. Uh, yep. We now are proud owners of two uh two carriers that will probably never actually see the light of day. And while we're here, let's strip them of their weapons. Because uh, I don't really need them to go off chasing anything. They have seven seven jumps, that's nice. Cargo space, okay. I, I feel like it makes sense for a carrier to have cargo space. So we'll, we'll, we will uh, not go that stupid there. And then let's load up on shields. Also, these things have a really low crew count. Only need seven people to run them, compared to a Federation carrier, which takes a hundred something. Alright, since we're also here, let's shoot. Um, okay, we don't have the space for some unfathomable reason. Okay, let's get rid of all the outfit, uh, all the space there, and then fill up on lasers. And I guess a liquid nitrogen cooler, because these things are now running really, really hot. Uh, if memory serves. Yeah. No missiles, only lasers. For no other reason than I just that I'm just being very hard ass about having lasers. 167, wow, that's so huge. 98. And uh Yeah, you don't need space. You don't need space. And let's load up on shields as much as we can. Should have also loaded up on those uh, keystones to give to more people, but that's okay. Right, so we don't want any particle cannons, even though they're really good. And let's install all the heavy lasers that we can. Cool. Alright, that's good enough. Let's get out of here. Poison was back here, so... We're gonna make a pit stop at Gertab a little bit to pick up our the fighters that's kind of been there for a while now. Actually, question: If I look at my journal, my logbook, visited a syndicate, worked out a deal where they promised to stay neutral. That was in April. It is now July, <laughs> so it's been three months. Time flies, huh? Mordecai the ghoulish. Aw. Angry beauty. Overwhelming tower. That is a penis joke. Hatred pit. Well, we got the angry beauty at least, I suppose. 
Seabird, End of Childhood. Which? Stop coming, Jesus. RNS Niger, ooh, okay, these guys are trying to kill us. Infernal Laughter. Stop showing up. Christ. I understand that you want us to kill all of you, but that's just way too much. Alright, we're back. <laughs> Yay! The guy that's been sitting here for what is essentially forever now can go home. RNS Jackson, Hydra of Doom, Mind Curse. Ow. Mind Curse killed somebody. I don't know who it was. Uh, Mind Curse killed a witch. Okay. That makes a little bit too much sense to me, but okay. Harness Tabble. Oof. Murdered instantly, huh? Sticks. Harness Helen. Yep, you're dead. Level 6, RNS Vincent. Dead. Red 6, get 10. That's three cruisers we've killed so far. Please stop sending them. I understand that you do not listen, but Jesus Christ, guys. Yeah, like, our, uh, we just have way too much firepower at this point. Alright. It seems that everyone in the spaceport is talking about a recent news story. The Navy has announced the formation of a new regiment called the Oath Keepers. Okay, by prisoners are we periled, okay. And they're going to be on Farpoint in the north against pirates. Cool, I guess. Pirates don't really get that far, but all right. Admiral Danforth, an elderly admiral who is something of a folk hero and is spoken of with admiration and respect. Cool. All right. So that's at least some ships that are uh, out of our hair. Now then, let's go to Poisonwood. Oh wait, hold up, cheating again. Since we are now safe and back, let's unpark our barges. And they will come to meet us whenever, whenever they're ready. Oh look, mission targets. Powerful mission targets. Yikes. Good thing there's a lot of us. Mine. Ergox corpse is not dead. Wow. Neither of them are dead. Okay, that's great. <laughs> Three decades ago, this was a slave colony. That's not very long ago. Navy was responsible for liberating them and is still a deep debt to the Republic as a result. Fair. But even if they do not join us, we can maybe establish more friendly relations. In her late 50s, so she is Probably was a slave at the time. Yep. One of the slaves were freed by the Navy. Yep. Now I don't want to give you false hope. We will not be joined in the free world. Fine. 
what do you believe is the greatest threat that humanity faces today? Corrupt government, powerful corporations, and unbridled capitalism. Return of the alphas, pirates, and anarchy, alien invasion. So, essentially, one is the Republic, two is the Syndicate, three is the third party, four are uh, a way for you to get free ships, and five is essentially Quargs. That's that's all the that's all the aliens we know, and the High. But as we know, the High are. Uh, uh, peaceful race. So to that end, the Syndicate likes us, like the Republic. Uh, I want more pirates because I want to capture more ships. I don't care about the alien invasion, which means that the third party, the Alphas, is the only answer that uh, will not cause problems, I guess. The return of the Alphas or something like them. She seems surprised. Not many of your generation would say that. Oh, screw you too. Even here on Poison, where, where we ought to know better, many of us were born after days of slavery, think the Alphas are no more than a myth. Okay. Okay. We need, for nearly a decade, most of our childhood, we've been a little more than that, da, 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 until the disappearance. Can you say capital letters? What was the disappearance? She was a teenage slave working in the factory at the time. Exactly the wrong age. All 18-year-old girls had to have mandate health checkups. Technically not a teenager at, the, at that point. I mean... Like... The relative age of adulthood is... Kind of dependent on the relative, on the relative wealth of the location. Where uh, adulthood comes earlier if it's... You know, if the relative wealth is lower. Be watering and unpleasant. Nearly all the girls disappeared that day. Well, gee, I wonder how. Never returned from the checkups. Only a few were left behind. Most of the leftovers, a girl had been unlucky enough to be pregnant or lucky. But she didn't understand why they didn't take her. They were selling girls into prostitution. I mean, okay, but technically speaking, being unable to get pregnant is a plus, is a definite plus in prostitution. That's what we assumed, but there were dozens of girls like me who were not taken, even though they were not pregnant. Okay, somehow the news got off-world. After that, the Navy showed up, okay? I mean... Feels like they could probably have shown up sooner if they actually cared. In the process, they tried to invade an underground facility where they thought the girls were being kept, but the facility was ripped to self-destruct and nobody survived. Okay, did you ever find out why they let you go? So willful and stubborn, too hard to control, but drugs are a thing. Years later, I began to discover that all of us who were passed over had one thing in common. They were all infertile. Okay. Which means that either a bunch of pirates has suddenly decided they want to leave behind their lives of crime and settle down race families. You can also, uh, you can have a life of crime while having families. Or the girls are being used as incubators. On one hand, you. On the other hand, it's the year 3000. I feel like test tube babies are probably a common enough occurrence that uh, you wouldn't need to constantly capture people. Alpha Gen X were unstable. They need hundreds of test subjects to produce a handful of viable alpha babies. Eh. Days that may yet return. Uh, okay, there may still be alphas somewhere. Strong and clever enough to be able to kill without a hint of remorse, like me! <laughs> okay, alright. So she just wants us to protect, against, to protect against literal space aliens. Or literal human aliens, as, as it may be. We will do our best, I imagine. Nope. We'll meet those marauders some other day, I suppose. Ah, oh, the carrots are very slow. Hmm? 
Okay, we meet Tomek and Freya, and the entire council quickly convenes. Uh, which he believes has been a success. It's been three months. There's one other thing. The Syndicate informed us that the Republic has Katya in custody accused of terrorism. Why does the Federation not know about this? Like, I feel like this would be head page news, right? Because she's just been accused. She hasn't been proven guilty. So you could just demonstrate, you could just show the news and not worry about it. Why have they not announced it publicly? I suppose it's because they know she is innocent. And it's impossible to tell a lie to a questioner, and in this case that will work in her favor. Yes, but it's also possible for the Republic to lie about if questioners were used in the first place. Alright, here's 200,000 credits for uh, taking me around all of, like, past Federation space. Thank you. Appreciated, I guess. End of childhood, okay. CV Akagi, where's Kaga? Kaga's not here yet? Nope. Alright, well. This is a choke point. Any attack on us, we need to come from Wei or Lathath. Wei is here, and Lathath is here. Which means, and Wei is much more likely. That also means that if we can monitor what is happening there, we will have advanced warning of any attack. Okay. So... The Hope is in the Way system. Its former colony is now an ice planet. Yeah, I know about it. Display a sensor network on Hope and deploy it. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Whoops. Should have taken all those missions too. Okay, I'm gonna wait till everybody's here and then uh, land again. Give me a second, guys. Uh, I'm going to sell the the steering in favor of weaker. St wow, 55 speed, Jesus. Uh, da -da 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 weaker steering in favor of having a uh, weaker engines. Have in favor of having more steering. Like, as, as much as we can, anyway. The ability of, of the two carriers to keep up is essentially going to be entirely dependent on their ability to, uh... turn. Our rating is 4.7, and our defense rating is 7.4, so we're not in any kind of danger. Boring, but hey. Alright. Cover me while I land. Okay. Telemetry starts coming in, and I verify that my own ship is showing up in their scans. However, they also picked up an unidentified heat signature on another part of Hope. Do you investigate? Of course! Flying low to avoid detection, as much as a cruiser can, and come up upon a navy gunboat. Landed on the planet some distance away from the ship, several figures in thick snowsuits are setting up some sort of equipment with lots of antennae. So the question is, did I have snowsuits? Uh, using this world as a listening post, your sensors show that uh, the gunboat is powered down. Yep, they see us and then they immediately run to the gunboat. Lesson number one, have a guy in the ship. Destroy their equipment with few well-placed shots. I have nothing but lasers. They're kind of hard to not be well-placed. Then train your guns on the crew members who are still some distance from the ship. I have a cruiser. If they couldn't see me in the time it takes for them to run back to their ship, they kind of deserve it. When they realize they cannot get back to it before being shot, they raise their hands and surrender. Okay, that means the gunboat is uncrewed. Okay, kill... Uh, the crew didn't steal it. On the other hand, if there are more crew about the, aboard the ship, we'd better destroy it first and finish out the landing crew. Let's be honest. Um, if you're dumb enough to fight me when we're out in space, I will kill you. At that point, 
leave. I will spare the crew and then chase their ship out of the system. Most of the ships are exp eh, but, 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 ex equipped with external speakers for exactly this sort of situation. Speaking through them, you tell the Navy crew below. Return to your ship and leave the system immediately. And they leave. They fuck off. And we killed our friends, because that's apparently how we do things. to explode. Alright, we're done. Let's get out of here. Sensors are deployed, but I caught the Navy doing the same thing. I destroyed the installations, but there might be others. Live and let live. We have no plans to expand north. Yep. Yeah, it makes sense to me. Like, we're not really fighting an invasion war here, so defending is good. We need to go to Rust on the, uh, what system? Kraz system. I don't know how to get there yet. In the meantime, let's go to Zug. Black hand. Oh, right. One more. You know who I forgot to pick up guns for? My vanguards. Also, it is kind of weird that by default, a ship called the Vanguard is built for, uh, backline support duty. Syndicates don't have good naming sense, I suppose. I will sell the ships I don't need. Okay. Alright, cool. More marauders. Alright, I need to get a crass somehow. Resupply rust. Passenger transport to rust. I don't know what's on rust, so I'm just going to bring some food. And then we're just gonna head in that direction and hope for the best. Ow. Huh, wow. We've got nothing on the way up. Okay, let's keep going. Take this moment to refuel the guys, and then let's uh, head on over. Oh, all right, our short break can uh, make this thing trivial, fine. Welcome to Rust. Is everyone here on Rust now? Uh, Bounder, Dagger... We lost a dagger somewhere? Pfft, okay. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to go back and deliver the High Child at some point, so, you know. I like to believe that in the months, essentially, that we've been here, uh, the High Child has more or less adapted. And is now kind of like the fleet, uh, the ship mascot. <laughs> okay. I don't understand why this has an image, but or whatever. Thick willing outside smoking a cigarette. Yeah, pleased to meet you too, sir. I'm not wearing a suit. All these militia habits, yeah. Alright. A new weapon for the capital ships. Biggest thing we got, and mount a pair of them onto a turret. How come you're the first person to think of this? It's 60 tons. It's, yeah. It is kind of really big. 60 tons is a lot for uh, that kind of weapon. No testing against the Navy. 
So uh, the Red Nile that's been hunting in Eldaria, sniping on merchants that take a wrong turn and end up there. Okay, an aging Terrasid Falcon. It's a little rusty and the paint's flaking, but a Falcon is an impressive ship under any circumstances. True. The Whopping Willow Blind. All right. I mean, like, considering the type of firepower I'm packing, I don't think it's necessary, but it's appreciated. One, two, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, sure. You can have those quad turrets back. One more fuel jump. These two are new. Get all the outfit space that we can. Uh, bye bye anything that's not a laser. Hello everything that is a laser. Neat. And we'll stock up on shields. Cool. Alright, let's go. Uh, wait, hold on. One more. Angry Beauty. One, two, one, two. One, two, three, four. Ah, uh, uh. Fuel. Keep forgetting the fuel. More fuel. And shields. Alright, so Kras has a lot of wanted missions. Wow. So we need we will first stop at uh Zub. <laughs> That's way too long of a name. And then we will uh go forth. Why do I only have three jumps? Whatever. Let's go. Given that Kras is an end is an end node, there is basically like an infinite chance that we will meet at least some of our targets on the way up. Speaking of which. Shoot it. God damn it. Uh, I forgot the lasers for my vanguards again. There they are! I think that's two of them. Jesus. Sucks to you that we have so many ships, though. Army? Ship just called Army. Ah, uh, yeah. Since these are Marauders, they have a chance of just blowing themselves up. <sighs> well, I mean... Oh yeah, and we lost all our ravens, too. Okay, let's go! More of them. Wow, that thing's fast! Ugh, yikes. It's a huge-ass crew, isn't it? I mean, we can land. The good thing about mission about disabled mission targets is that when you land, they're still there. They're still disabled. So we're gonna land, sell off our heavy metals, hire more crew. Buy some more heavy metals. Yeah, see? They're, they're still just there. Lorelei's Conqueror. That was a really fast ship. And Hell's Children. Now let's land again, because uh, we need more crew. Whoops. Uh, yeah, sure. And now we can go to Zubin. Oh, and that thing. Shoot it. Bounty hunters. <laughs> A bounty hunter whose name is just Hunter. Ooh, wow. Adam's got the shit beaten out of him. Jesus.
Okay, we shouldn't have any more uh, concerns at this point. So let's just hurry it up. 45, okay. I guess that's a... Alright. I know, I know. Oops. Okay. Oh. Oh, hey, the game crashed. Well, fortunately, it auto-saves, so that's not really something I have to worry about. But um, I suppose this is the game telling me I should stop for now, so we're going to do that. Uh, next time, we will actually hunt down the Red Nile. It will be a battle to be forgotten. <laughs> just, there's just way too many of us. All right, later.